Hello everyone and welcome to today's video, which will be a bit different than normal. Uh, today, instead of focusing on one specific creature, I'll be talking about an entire period, the Cambrian, and hopefully I'll be expanding this video into a series on all the major geological periods in Earth's history. Uh, but first, what is a geological period? Well, to put it simply, they're one of the ways we measure the vast amounts of time. The geological time scale can be confusing and complicated, but put simply, they're usually sorted by eons, eras, periods, and then epochs. For example, today we're living in the Holocene Epoch, which is in the Quaternary Period, in the Cenozoic Era, in the Phanerozoic Eon. Each video of this series will be focused on one of the second to smallest classes, a period. Now, despite being the first in the series, the Cambrian wasn't the first period. However, it was the first one to hold complex multicellular life, so it's the first one I'll be explaining. However, I will touch on the preceding three periods, the Hadean, Archean, and Proterozoic. The Hadean period began with the formation of the Earth itself 4.6 billion years ago. It isn't technically a geological time period though, because there are no surviving rocks from this age because of how chaotic the New World was and the vast amounts of time that passed. Next comes the Archean period. This is the period in which the Earth began to grow cooler and calmer and suitable, at last, for the very first bits of life to begin to form. And by life, I mean tiny, tiny life. Microbes and bacteria were the first to grace this planet, too small to even see. However, one type of bacteria, cyanobacteria, helped fill the world with oxygen, making a path for a more complex sort of life to come about. The appearance of oxygen marked the beginning of what we call the Proterozoic Period, a period lasting almost two billion years. Life began evolving, growing more and more complex, although probably still relegated to mostly single-celled organisms for billions of years. And it kept going slowly and slowly until... It's the Cambrian Explosion! With the beginning of the Cambrian period came the beginning of life as we know it now. Complex life began to form, feasting first off of the billions of bacteria and then eventually off of each other. Life forms were making the huge leap from tiny invisible microorganisms to animals, some of types of which still exist today like worms and fish. But what exactly made all of this happen? Well, while nobody is exactly certain the causes for such rapid diversity, and the topic is still being debated, various theories are going around. The Earth was, as always, changing. We don't have very detailed knowledge of what the Earth was like so long ago, but we can make rational speculations based on the present evidence. Tectonic plates were moving rapidly and the oceans were larger, covering around 80% of the Earth. This is because the world was still much warmer than it is today, and there were no polar ice caps containing a lot of the water like there are today. The worldwide temperature may have been up to 122 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. This may have been caused partly by the fact that there were very high amounts of carbon dioxide in the air, perhaps 15 times as much as is here today. There was also a large increase in calcium and other minerals being introduced into the oceans, which may have helped some animals gain the process of biomineralization, that is, the construction of solid body parts like bones, teeth, and shells. The presence of so many new shelled creatures may have been because of the rise of new predators. The predators, in turn, would have been pressured by their prey's new adaptations to get bigger, quicker, and stronger. All of these elements and more gave way to the rise of some of the strangest creatures in Earth's history. But animals weren't the only things that came about from the Cambrian explosion. We've also found evidence of a multitude of new bacteria, plankton, and algae, which represented the first plants. While the Cambrian era was filled to the brim with life, it was all, for now, relegated solely to the oceans. The land was still dry, barren, and lifeless. The seas, however, were anything but. In the Cambrian world, the invertebrates ruled. It was a time of great diversity and experimentation with some of the creatures looking like something straight out of an old 70s sci-fi comic book. They had spines, feelers, eyes, teeth, shells, things that are normal today but were very strange and new features back in the Cambrian, relatively speaking. 
Heck, even the ability to move was new and innovative. The things we take for granted now were just being developed and toyed with. Some of the more notable creatures from this era are the Echinoderms, the same group that starfish come from, Archaeocyathids, an extinct type of sponge, and these guys you'll probably recognize if you're at all into paleontology, the Trilobites. Trilobite is the name of a very successful group of arthropods in the class Trilobita. Although they look superficially similar to each other, they were a very diverse group of creatures ranging all over the world and around 5,000 different genera and over 15,000 different species, each having different lifestyles and diets. They were also large by Cambrian standards, with some of the larger ones, like the genus Paradoxides, growing up to 17 inches long. These creatures had hard exoskeletons and head shields, more formally called the cephalon. These tough exoskeletons are almost always the only parts of the animal to preserve in fossil form, although there have been a few specimens that show soft tissue, such as legs, gills, eyes, and muscles. As stated before, these little bugs were extremely successful, and they survived throughout the entire Paleozoic era, from the Cambrian period, 520 million years ago, all the way into the Permian, around 250 million years ago, living through at least two mass extinctions before finally dying out during the Permian extinction, an extinction event that killed off 96% of all marine life, and it's nicknamed the Great Dying, appropriately so, but we'll get to that in another video. The point is that these trilobites lasted longer than the dinosaurs and longer than we have so far, and are some of the greatest survivors of all time. But they weren't the only crazy Cambrian creatures. Meet the largest animal to be found from the Cambrian, the Anomalocaris. At up to 3 feet long, this creature is thought to be one of the earliest examples of an apex predator. It may have even been able to crack through trilobite shells, as evidenced by coprolite pieces, although this is still debated. Anomalocaris has two large round eyes with 16,000 lenses in each eye. Human eyes, for comparison, only have one lens per eye. The animal would have swam by undulating the flap-like lobes on each side of its body, propelling it through the waters. Oh, and it has an asteroid named after it, which is probably a bigger achievement than you or I have. The Cambrian era was filled with huge achievements in life's never-ending game to survive, all of them very important. One of them in particular was the rise of the vertebrates. The Cambrian explosion saw the development of a very big player in everything that would come afterwards the backbone. Animals with backbones, called vertebrates, began to slowly develop. Animals such as the tiny fish Hycuichthys, or the adorably named Picaya. Oh, that's such a cute name, Picaya. These new tiny fish with backbones would continue to evolve during the next few million years to make up the vast majority of the most marvelous, recognizable animals ever, and the Cambrian explosion was the beginning of the crazy story of life on Earth. Eventually, these life forms would make it on land and populate the world with all manner of weird, unique, and beautiful life. But not quite yet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. Be sure to stick around for episode 2 of The Tour Through Time, where I'll be tackling the Ordovician period, a period of dramatic change when the first bits of life began to colonize the land. Subscribe so you don't miss it, and leave a like if you liked the video, and share it with your friends to make yourself look smart. Until next time, I've been Luke, and keep on learning.